Welcome to Vero Update. It's all about humanity. Please do subscribe to our channel. How the founder of Gokada, Fahim Saleh, was gruesomely killed, the police. Fresh facts have emerged that the gruesome killing of Gokada founder and chief executive officer, Fahim Saleh, was financially motivated. The 33-year-old was found dismembered inside a luxury apartment in New York's Lower East Side on Tuesday afternoon, the 14th of July 2020. Saleh's body was caught with a power saw, which authorities found at the scene plugged into an electrical outlet. One of the homicide officials from the New York Police Department investigating the murder said on Wednesday, the 15th of July, that the motive of Saleh's killer appeared to be financial in nature, adding that the murder appeared to be the result of a bad business deal, according to WNBC. Sources said the killing may have been a targeted hit, as investigators look into the victim's business affairs for any possible motives or suspects. I think it was an overseas situation where they hired a hitman to do this and maybe the person is on a plane out of here, a friend of Sally told NBC New York. Detectives are said to be looking into that possibility. Police said surveillance footage showed the faceless killer bolting via a staircase after Saleh's sister buzzed up to the apartment and got into the elevator. The police said, he was dressed like a ninja, full out, so you can't even see his face. He clearly knew what he was doing. We think his intent was to get rid of the body parts and go back and clean it up and make it look like nothing happened. He left before he finished the job, the Sun UK reports. Following his death, Saleh's former co-founder at Dokada, Deji Odunton, tweeted, I am utterly shocked and deeply saddened by the news of Fahim's death. Fahim was passionate about building our ecosystem and left an indelible mark in it. According to his LinkedIn profile, Odunton was the co-founder and CEO until March 2019. Gokada raised $5.3 million in funding in May 2019 but in February of this year, the company laid off 75% of its workforce following a ban on tricycles and bikes on major routes in Lagos State. In a statement on Wednesday, the 15th of July, the Gokada team said, It is with deep sadness and regret that we have to inform you about the sudden and tragic passing of our founder and CEO, Fahim Saleh. Fahim was a great leader, an inspiration and a positive light for all of us at Gokada, and we are completely heartbroken by this sad news. Our hearts go out to his family, friends, and all those who are currently feeling the same pain that we feel right now. Fahim's vision and belief in us will always be with us, a reminder that we can achieve whatever we set our minds to. Thank you for understanding as we go through this, we will share any updates and changes on the future as it unfolds forever in our hearts please like comment and share our videos and above all do subscribe to our youtube channel to watch more videos thank you